Yeah, well, quite often when you look at military obituaries, you just see served in Gibraltar, a simple three words, but you forget that behind those three words, there's a whole life story of someone that did that time. Um, and Colonel Francis um, Simolesi is one of those. Um, he ha he served in Gibraltar for at least four years, from 1876 to 1880, but he was also here sporadically later on um, while he was in Gibraltar. We don't know much about what he did while he was in Gibraltar, but we do know that he married. He met and married his wife here at the Holy Trinity and then moved on and was posted around the world in Egypt and finally ended up in Bermuda before he retired and then stayed working in the UK as a, as a chartered architect. Now the calendar features um, 12 artworks from him. Um, could you give us a little bit more insight into these pieces? So they're photos of paintings he's done. Um, have they been seen by anyone before? Um, we got to know about these artworks through local historian and collector Gil Podesta. Um, quite a few years ago he met the great-grandson of, um, of Colonel Leslie who was visiting Gibraltar, visiting where his great-grandfather had served and he came across Gil, um, told him he had these images and they just sort of kept in loose contact and then very recently um, Mr Leslie got in contact with um, Gil again and said look I've got this family, this collection in the family and we want it to be seen by the public. He'd seen the calendar that the trust had done last year and the photos of um, Ivor, Ivor Nichols and and um, wanted us to do the same thing. So through that connection with Gil, the water, watercolours made their way to Gibraltar and um, they've made it into, into the calendar. The um, Heritage Trust annual calendar has become quite a staple. Uh, people do tend to look forward to it every year. So uh, what would you say about uh, the popularity of this after over 30 years of its publication? Yeah, the, the first calendar was published in 1991 and it's always been a fundraising vehicle for the Trust. Um, so whatever we sell goes directly back into the Trust and um, helps to fund the work that we do to preserve Gibraltar's history and um, bring stories like this to the fore. Um, and yes, it's always hotly anticipated by um, many members. It comes with an envelope, so people um, often um, post it off to, to loved ones and family from Gibraltar, um, those who are just in Gibraltar abroad. Um, so yes, they, they are very popular, look forward to, and um, hopefully will sell out again this year.